Well, hello and welcome to the Toyota Stadium in Nagoya for this top of the table clash as third place Nagoya Grampus take on the champions and league leaders Yokohama F Marinos. Now this pair were the top two coming into this round, but Vissel Kobe's win at Albirex Nagata yesterday saw them hop into second spot just a couple of points behind Yokohama F Marinos. F Marinos can't be knocked off the top should they come unstuck here today, but Nagoya Grampus would move to within a point of the champions and back into second place in what is very much a four-horse race for the title, the 2023 season developing into what should be an exciting climax. Asian champions, Arau Reds, certainly by no means out of the equation either of the side currently in fourth. Well, a loss at uh, FC Tokyo hasn't derailed Nagoya Grampus's hopes of claiming a second J-League title some 13 years after their only success. And they responded with a 2-0 win against last season's runners-up Kawasaki Frontale last weekend to make it five wins in their last six J-1 league matches. Yokohama F Marinos, though, the defending champions, the seven-time champions, arrive in electric form of late. They've won seven games in a row in all competitions since a loss in the League Cup group stage at the end of May. And their last six games have all been won in J1, largely due to the form of this man, Anderson Lopez, their centre forward, the J League's top goal scorer this season. Well, these two drew 1-1 back in April at the start of the campaign, but Yokohama F Marinos won both meetings last season. It's three games without a win for Nagoya Grampus against today's opponents. And let's not forget, Yokohama F Marinos won 4-0 here on their last visit last season en route to claiming that seventh Japanese crown. 42 previous meetings between these two clubs, though. There is absolutely nothing to choose between them. Both have won 14 times and there's been 14 draws. Well, this is a particularly difficult hurdle for Yokohama F Marinos if they are to go on and retain their league title. A club who traditionally does tend to struggle after winning the uh, J-League crown, but it certainly doesn't seem to be the case this season. They did retain the old Japanese Soccer League title in 1990 after being champions in 1989. The only time they've retained the J-League title, 2004, after their success in 2003. And the Goy Grampus have been in really good form here. They've won their last five games in a row. In fact, they're 15 games unbeaten here in all competitions since Yokohama F Marinos won by four goals to nil here last season. Two sides in great form. And with centre forwards in form, Kasper Juncker there, the former Danish under 21 international, has scored 10 in 19 games this season. And there's no question this will be a, a key match in the outcome of the 2023 J League title. Great atmosphere inside the Toyota Stadium. Holds 45,000 when full, it's not full. Spectators packed inside the areas that are open for this game. And Yokohama F Marinos well followed as well. Their supporters making a journey of over 330 kilometers and four hours by car, but just an hour and 17 by the uh, incredible rail network that is available in Japan. More of the same this season for Yokohama F Marinos, but it's a much improved campaign for Nagoya Grampus, who finished in eighth place last season. Nine points adrift of the top three places, which earn you a place in the Asian Champions League. Very much a hit and miss season for the 2010 champions, who won their only title under the guidance of Dragan Stojkovic. 
Well, just the one change for Nagoya Grampus from last week's win against Kawasaki Frontale. Goalkeeper and back three remain the same. But Takaji Yonemoto returns in the centre of midfield for Takoya Uchida, who is on the bench. Mateo scored in both games against Yokohama F Marinos in 2020, but hasn't registered since against them. He supports the front pair of Kensuke Nagai and Nagoya's top scorer, Kasper Junker, who scored 10 goals, including five in his last set. Seven games. Two coaches, Kevin Muscat and Kenta Hazegawa. Yusuke Araki, 37-year-old referee, the man in charge, his fifth J1 match this season. He is a FIFA official. And this is his 123rd career J1 match that he's taken charge of. And there are the video assistant officials as well. The first choice left back Katya Nagato returns for Yuta Koiki in the only change for the champions. In midfield, Joel Fujita was on target in an impressive 4 0 win here last season. He's part of a three man midfield which supports an all Brazilian front line. Wingers Elbert and Jan Mateus have 10 goals between them. They flank J1's top scorer Anderson Lopez, who's hit 15 goals so far. Kenta Hazegawa who produced a remarkable season in 2014 when he guided newly promoted Gamba Osaka to the domestic treble. And Kevin Muscat, the 49-year-old former Australian international who led Yokohama F Marinos to their seventh J-League title three years after their last in 2019, took over from the new Tottenham boss, Ange Postacoglu. Kasper Juncker is on loan from the Asian champions Arau Reds. And what a performance he's put in for Nagoya Grampus so far this season. So Nagoya Grampus against Yokohama F Marinos from the Toyota Stadium. Week 20 of what is developing into a tremendous 2023 season. The chase for the title, the chase for the top three. Looks as though it could go to the wire. Yokohama F Marinos and Nagoya Grampus, two sides beaten three times already this season, the same amount as Vissel Kobe and Arawa Red Diamonds, the other title chasers. Here's Albert. Yokohama F Marinos in the changed white shirts and black shorts. Here are Nagoya Grampus in their traditional red. And Emma took pressure back with uh, Langerak, Australian goalkeeper, kept eight times by the Socceroos, the 34-year-old is Izumi. Switching it out towards Morishita, who is in uh, plenty of space out there. Very much a clash of styles and formations, these two sides, Yokohama F Marinos with a, a back four, Nagoya Grampus very much a back three with wing backs. And that's a challenge, a risky one right on the edge of the box from Kawazura. Nothing given. Nishimura. That's the question of the referee. Kawazura allowing him to get the wrong side of him. I'm not sure there's too much in it when you see the replay. There is contact, but Nishimura has gone down a little too easily. Is Fuji looking for the run of Juncker and Mateus looking for options centrally gets the cross in Mateus it was a good delivery Matsubara in the end ducking out of the way and it did enough to put off Morishita two goals this season the uh, left wing back of Nagoya Grampus, Yoya Marishita. It's his goal that earned Nagoya Grampus the 1 uh, 1 draw in 
Yokohama back in April this season. And Emoto. Space for Izumi. Couldn't get the cross in. There's the uh, Yokohama F Marinos support. You can see behind the goal that Nagoya Grampus are attacking. Good work from Mateus, the creative influence at the point of the Nagoya Grampus midfield. He's weighed in with four goals himself this season. Mateus and Izumi over this corner. Clipped in by Yonemoto, wasn't the best delivery though. Marishita. Looking to go on the outside of Matsubara. Short instead to Junker. Finds a, a bit of space and wins the corner. Bright start from Nagoy Grampus. Last game they failed to win here was a 2 2 draw with fellow title chasers Vissel Kobe back in May. That was the last of four successive draws here before they embarked on this present run of five straight wins in the league. 11 unbeaten here in the league, 15 in all competitions. Yonenamut. Out to Mateus. Skips on the outside, finds a bit of space. Plenty back though for F. Marinos. Seemed to go out of play. And the referee has uh, given a corner here, but initially as though Izumi had carried the ball over himself. He's the header back, and then Izumi here. Yeah, that's out of play before he <laughs> delivers it across, but the corner's been given. Yonemoto. Deep cross in, header back into the danger zone by Fuji. And this time it was flagged as being over for a goal kick. There's Kamijima. Haven't really got going yet, Yokohama F. Marinos. Chimari going long. Fuji's header towards Izumi, seeing plenty of the ball early on. Nagato, only too much time though, Mateus stepping in. Chimari to Fujita. Aguado's clearance not the best. Yonemoto. And that's not a bad effort, and goodness me. A Chimari made a, a real meal of it. Marishita eyeing up the shot. Didn't get, catch hold of it at all in the way he would have liked. But very nearly caught out Yun Chimari. It was the bounce that made it difficult. He was already on his way down, the F. Marinos goalkeeper. That would have been an embarrassing one to concede. It's another corner for Nagoya Grampus. Pinning back the champions and the league leaders at the moment. Had a flicked on over Juncker, though. here for Nagoya Grampus would leave them seven points off the pace in terms of the title whereas a victory would see them just a, a point behind so very much a, a six-pointer in that respect uh, anybody around here talking about potentially winning the title it's all about that top three target and qualification for the Asian Champions League Mateus, away from Nagato, now Junker, who is pulling the trigger, fell fortuitously to Nagato, and it's in! 
The Goy Grampus take the lead. Just under eight minutes gone here at the Toyota Stadium, and it's no less than they deserve from the start they've made to the game. Juncker's speculative effort blocked away. And then fortuitously falling to his strike partner, Kensuke Nagai. Started with the run here of Mateus. And then Juncker here, head down really, going for goal. Deflected back off Kamijima. And then the looping effort from Kensuke Nagai. Getting the better of Ichimori. And it's Nagoya Grampus 1, Yokohama F. Marinos 0. Fourth goal of the season for Kensuke Nagai. Scored in wins against Kyoto Sanger, Kashiwa Reiso and Alberex Nigata. Had it scored, though, for 14 games in all competitions. What a way to end that barren run for Nagoya Grampus' second striker. And the goal early on against the champions and league leaders, Izumi. It's a back again from Inagaki. Yunka would have been in the clear had the ball made it through. Subra just doing enough to get across. Fantastic start to the game from Nagoya Grampus. Yokohama F. Marinos haven't really turned up yet. Side on a run of six successive league wins, seven wins in a row in all competitions. Looking to open up a, a five point gap at the top of the table from Vissel Kobe of the. to uh, emulate last season's 4 0 win here. Goy Grampus can hand them their fourth defeat of the season. It would really pull everybody back together in terms of that title race. Nagato. Kevin Muscat is out in the technical area, not surprised. He won't be at all happy with the start his side have made. They're being run over at the moment by Nagoy Grampus. Here's the goal scorer, Nagai. Mateus. Two Mateus is out there. Mateus, who wears 10 for Nagoya Grampus, and Jan Mateus, who wears 20 for F. Marinos. He's barely seen the ball, actually. Izumi. Whereas Mateus has been central to everything good that Nagoya Grampus have produced in this opening 10 minutes or so. Katani. Katani again. Now Fujita finds Watanabe in a bit of space. Fujita. Really been able to get a foot on the ball in the midfield area, Yokohama F. Marinos. Here's Eduardo. Kamijima. Kamijima winning the header again. Just struggling to keep any kind of possession of the ball at the moment. Yokohama F. Marinos. And Nagoya Grampus have a man down. Yonemoto, the uh, central midfielder. two-year-old who spent last season on loan with Shonan Belmare as a, a regular for them, the side who are currently bottom of J1 this season. Has uh, returned to Nagoya Grampus and has been a, a regular in there. Joined the club in 2019 from FC Tokyo where he played over 200 times. Zagawa hoping to produce the same success here that he did at Gambro Osaka. It was a remarkable story that Second-tier title in 2013, and in their 
first season in the top flight, swept all the trophies, the League, the League Cup and the Emperor's Cup. Not surprisingly, was named Japanese Manager of the Year in 2014 after that. Yamatez. Nagato, header one by Izumi. Now Albert. Trying to find a bit of space to get the shot away. Comfortable save from Langerak, but at least it's a shot in anger from the champions. They've shown signs in the last couple of minutes that they're beginning to wake up from the rather slumberous start. Still permanent, you'd imagine Kasper Juncker, the way he's played this season, 10 in 19. Oh, well, Rao Reds, the uh, new Asian champions, want him back. A fabulous scoring record when he played in Norway, scored 27 in 25 games for Bodo Glimt. And win the uh, elite Syrian title the league's top scorer in 2020. Now caught by the, the late boot. Well, he'll be mightily relieved to get that goal in the bag. After 14 without a goal. You know, Spent in Belgian football actually with standard Liège, only made 12 appearances though, failed to hit the target. Did the uh, League Cup in 2020 with former club FC Tokyo. It's actually his third spell with uh, Nagoy Grampus. On his feet again. And here's the goal. Made their way through. That's where the element of fortune was, and it sat up perfectly, and there's a deflection on it as well. Element of fortune about the way the goal came about, but certainly a deserving lead when it did come about. And Agaki gives it away. Back by Eduardo. Watanabe. Subara. Bear in a bit of space. Watanabe. Working so hard off the ball, Nagoya Grampus there, minimising the options that the Yokohama F Marinos player has when in possession of the ball. Here's Kamijima. From Matsubara. Kamejima. Albert. Important foot in, though, from Nakatani. Anderson Lopez. He's barely seen the ball in this opening quarter of an hour. Watanabe. Fuji across, though. Sticking to the task well. Clearance only goes as far, though, as Nagato. Nishimura. On again by Fujita. Matsubara. Clever ball in behind towards Jan Mateus. All the challenge came in and the crowd here held its breath. Lovely bit of vision though from Yokohama F. Marinos. That will be checked, of course. What a ball from Matsubara, the right back. Marishita. Doesn't get too much of the ball, does he? And there is a piece of Jan Mateus. It's lovely football, though, from uh, F. Marinos, the best we've seen so far. Matsubara showing his quality, the right back who often wanders out of the uh, right back position and joins in the midfield. And a 
Anderson Lopez still not happy. He felt it was a foul on Jan Mateus. I'm sure Kevin Muscat did too. He was a player during his playing days who could certainly put in a tackle or two. Oh, Crystal Palace, Wolves, Rangers and Millwall midfielder. Fuji. A couple of claims now, Yokohama F. Marinos. Neither materialising into any concrete decision. It's fair to say Yokohama F. Marinos have stemmed the tide a bit now. They've had a, a bit more of the ball. Getting to ask one or two questions of their own from the uh, Albert effort to that run and potential penalty claim from Jan Mateus. Goy Grampus will be aware of the quality that they're facing. They won't expect to dominate the game for the full 90. And they started in the best possible way and have themselves a lead. now just edging the possession interestingly Juncker Mateus is Elbert stepping away from the challenge of Izumi Watanabe it's down again where it matters but again the play is more dynamic from Yokohama F Marinos campaign to look forward to when it gets underway in September. They haven't won an Asian club competition since back-to-back -back Cup winners' Cup wins in the 1992 and 93. Around the time that the uh, J-League, the professional era, was born in Japan. Langerak. Watanabe. Inagaki, the captain winning it back though. Izumi Inagaki. Didn't really look the way he was playing that, Nagai. And here's Mateus. Shadow by Fujita. The space outside him for Izumi. Four to aim for in the penalty area. Nagaki unable to deliver though, and Nagato gets it away. Not the best ball out of defence though, picked up by Nakatani. It's Anderson Lopez. Jan Mateus. Taking on Kawazara. Jan Mateus with the ball in, Elbert. Trying the little flick finish of Fuji, fully aware. But another decent counter from Yokohama F. Marinos. Anderson Lopez starting the move, Jan Mateus feeding it into Albert. And Fuji did enough to cover the run. Would have been a lovely finish had he pulled it off, Albert. Scored eight goals in 29 appearances last season. He's on six already in this campaign, Albert. Scored a, a couple of goals in the uh, Yokohama derby against Yokohama FC. That's two goals in his last three games, coming against Kashiwa Reysol and Sanfrecce Hiroshima. Fujita beaten in the air by a determined Inagaki. Uh, 
Catani all the way through to Ichimori. Looked like a, a really good finish on first viewing, didn't it? And then you, you saw that different angle from uh, Nagai's goal and you understood how Ichimori was beaten so easily. It was a big deflection off Masubara. Fujita. Kamijima. Certainly controlling the game now, Yokohama F. Marinos. Deflection on that. Subaru taking the uh, corner quickly. Now Jan Mateus, Fujita. Matsubara. Completely different game now to the opening quarter of an hour. Grampus came out full throttle, looking for an early lead, and since getting the lead, Yokohama F. Marinos have settled down a bit and trying to play their way back into it and find this equaliser. Fujita. Kamijima. Eduardo. And the best ball from uh, Nagato, and now Nagai looking to put the pressure on Kamijima. And he and Ichimori did well in the end. Volleyed clearance from the uh, Yokohama F. Marinos goalkeeper. Certainly kept his cool there. Anderson Lopez through to Albert, goes down under the challenge of Izumi. And that's going to be the first yellow card of the game. Ball again from Anderson Lopez. Just wonder if Elbert tripped himself there, actually, more than any contact from Izumi. Across the back of a player like that, though, you're always likely to be pulled up should they go down. This is a free kick and a decent opportunity for F. Marinos. Plenty of players capable of uh, causing a problem from this sort of range. Albert and Nagato, the two players over this one. Precision lining of the wall from Langerak. Grampus do have one of the best defensive records in the league this season, conceding 16. And Vissel Kobe with 14, and Arau Reds, the Asian champions with 15, have conceded less, but there's little in it. find that gap in the wall, goes round the wall and it's denied by the post. Really unlucky from Albert. Looking to get back on the scoring trail, having scored in two in a row. Didn't get on target here, Shonan Balmari last weekend, but he was inches away from his third goal in four games. Lovely shape to the free kick from Albert. He went the long way round, didn't he, rather than the uh, the gap over the top of his two players that were knelt down. Kamejima <laughs> penalised this time. Started the season scoring Albert with a couple of goals against Ventforet Kofu in the Super Cup. The traditional curtain raiser where the champions play the Emperor's Cup winners. The Emperor's Cup won by second tier Ventforet Kofu last season. Extraordinary success. There's Mateus. It's ambitious from there. And 
Chimery made a bit of a meal of that, grabbing it at the second attempt. Oh, it's a lovely piece of distribution through to Elbert, who rounds the goalkeeper and equalises for Yokohama F. Marinos. Superb piece of quick thinking from Yun Ichimori, the F. Marinos goalkeeper. And then what about the delivery? And despite being denied by the post just a couple of seconds earlier, Elbert does score his third goal in four games. And the champions are level. And you have to say it has been coming. Long range effort from Mateus. Chimery just about gathering it. Wasn't worried about his poor handling, but look at that. Lovely ball down the centre. Albert at full power, kept his head, rounded Langerak. And it's Nagoya Grampus one. Yokohama F. Marinos one. Superb piece of distribution, though, from Yun Ichimori, the F. Marinos goalkeeper. Pinpoint accuracy. And a cool finish from Albert. And despite that frantic electric start from Nagoya Grampus, Yokohama F. Marinos back on terms. 1 1. Now, this is a worry for Nagoya Grampus. And there is a VAR check taking place to see if Albert was offside. Looks like the ankle's the problem for Mateus. I guess it's all about where he started his run from. Albert. It'll be a massive let off for Nagoya Grampus if it is chalked off. Not seeing any replays of it at the moment. See if it's possible from here. It's there where he kicks the ball, but where is Albert? Now he looks on side when you see that, and indeed he was. It is 1 1. And in the end, proved to be nowhere near offside. throw Fujita gathered by Langerak Izumi Katani Kawazara Touch from Juncker. The whole feel of this game has completely changed since the opening quarter of an hour when Nagoya Grampus came flying out the traps. It's a sign of a good side, the sign of champions that Yokohama F. Marinos kept their cool despite conceding. Slowly but surely turned the screw, played their way back into the game and then produced a fine equaliser. Eduardo's header. Rishita. Oh, Grampus yeah, passing and able to find each other in the way they were early on. Here's Anderson Lopez. Terrific centre forward Anderson Lopez. Not just his uh, goal scoring tally this season, but the way he plays others into the game as well. Played for Consadoli Sapporo and Sanfrecce Hiroshima before a, a short spell in China with Wuhan. Played just 17 times, scored seven goals incidentally before returning to the J League.
Aguado. Kamejima. Now Nagato. Anderson Lopez with a neat little touch off. Watanabe helps it on to Albert. Fujita in space. Albert cutting inside instead, though. And trying to pick out the run of Nishimura. I think it was the wrong option, actually, from the Brazilian. Fujita had made a, a neat little run into the pocket just inside him. Fuji. Rishita. By Matsubara. Kimijima with the foot in. Tanabe's touch. Yamateus. Well, Rishita spotted the run of Nagai and Chimari quickly out of his penalty area to head it away. Yamateus. It's just overcooked that. Taken away by Nakatani. Great tempo to the game. Here's Elbert. Too difficult to see why these two sides have started the season so well. Watanabe. Fujita. Matsubara. Shimura. Fujita! 2-1, Yokohama F. Marinos. Beautifully worked goal. And Joel Fujita turns this game around. Lovely, dazzling football from Yokohama F. Marinos. Fujita to Nishimura, back to Fujita. And then he just passes the ball into the net for his second goal of the season for the second game in a row here at the uh, Toyota Stadium. Fujita is on target. He scored in the 4-0 win here last season. And after 15 home games unbeaten since that 4-0 loss here to the champions, Nagoya Grampus find themselves behind again. Beautifully crafted goal. A top, top finish from Joel Fujita. Nagoya Grampus 1, Yokohama F. Marinos 2. And the champions looking to put a bit of daylight between themselves and the title suitors behind them. Kenta Zagawa is going to make a change for Nogoi Grampus. Jan Mateus. Matsubara. They're overrunning Yokohama F. Marinos in the opening quarter of an hour, but they're being overrun themselves now. Jan Mateus gets the cross in. The Shimura got his head to it, but couldn't direct it the way he wanted. is the player who is coming off to be replaced by uh, Takoya Uchida. And for his 17th appearance of the season, Uchida. He's been uh, in and out of the side in terms of that midfield position. Takoya Uchika. is off though. Nagata. Nagato started the game in place of uh, Uchida. Interesting to know whether that is uh, tactical or whether uh, Yonemoto has uh, picked up a knock. Anderson Lopez. Back again from Albert. 
Gobert once again. Now Fujita. Nagaki getting a, a toe to the ball temporarily, but Nagoya Grampus can't get the ball at the moment. Kamejima. Now Matsubara. Yamateas making the run in behind. Marishita did well, though. Are up. A tough task in keeping Jan Mateus quiet, who is a good runner with the ball. A good runner into space as well. In Agaki. From Nakatani. Strong challenge on Uchida, the substitute. Possession for Yokohama F. Marinos. The attempts on goal, more passes. After a difficult opening to the game, it's turning into a dominant performance now from the champions and league leaders. Elbe. Jan Mateus against Marishita. Subaru in support outside him, here's Elbe. Shitter hooks it away. The last 25 minutes or so, it really has been backs to the wall from Nagoya Grampus. Uchida. Now Fuji. Izumi immediately under pressure from Albert. Nagaki couldn't control it, but they kept possession. Here's Uchida. Now Nagai. Uchida. It's a heavy touch from Izumi. Helped out by Uchida. Now Mateus. A foul by Uchida on Eduardo. So the referee is going to take any further action. The Emperor's Cup is uh, back in midweek for both of these sides. It's the uh, third round. Oh, Grampus at home to uh, Vigolta Sendai. And Yokohama F. Marinos face uh, Machida Salvia. Both sides will expect to. Uh, Progress to the next round of the competition. For Yokohama, F. Marinos are at home to Kawasaki Frontale. Runners up from last season, the, the dominant side in recent years in terms of title wins, but having an awful campaign, currently down in 10th. Grampus travelled to uh, Coyote Sanga next in the league, who are currently 14th. Fuji closed down by Albert. Nagato. Way back to uh, Ichimori. Kamejima. It can be the most unorthodox of goalkeepers sometimes, Yun Ichimori. Goalkeeper, remember, who's on loan with uh, Yokohama F. Marinos from Gamba Osaka. It was his uh, quick thinking and distribution that produced that equaliser for Albert. Two goals in seven minutes. Turning this game on its head. Here's Fuji. Looking for Mateus, header away though from Subara. The problem here for uh, Takma 
Nishimura. Japanese international with three goals in five appearances for his national team. There's three goals this season. As we look at the uh, Yokohama of Marinos goals again, certainly on side Albert when you see it from that angle. What a cool finish. It's a brilliant goal. It's route one football at its best, isn't it? But it, it's not really, it's measured route one. It wasn't like a long punt up the field. He knew the player he was aiming for. There's a difference between a, an accurate long delivery like that and a punt up the pitch. Still have plenty to do, Albert. Kawazara. Space for Richard Terran. That was a chance for Mateus. Got right underneath it, though. It's more promising from Nagoya Grampus. We haven't seen anything like that from them since the opening quarter of an hour of the game. Marisha to finding a bit of space, and that's certainly a chance for Mateus. Shimmer are back on. And we're into the last minute of the uh, regulation 45, a first half that's flown by. Game that's been played at a terrific pace. We've seen some fine goals. Yokohama F. Marinos on course at the moment for a seventh straight league win and an eighth win in a row, including cup competitions. Anderson Lopez with the chest down to Matsubara. Had to be a foul. It was a, a lovely turn from the Brazilian Anderson Lopez. Foot. Three minutes to be added on. Yeah, yeah Mateus is Fujita. Clubs, by the way, two of the uh, original ten teams that played in the inaugural J League season back in 1993, some 30 years ago now. Yokohama F. Marinos have certainly enjoyed more success in that era. Winning five. J League titles of their seven in total. Foul on Albert. Kamijima. Matsubara. So Lopez with the touch. Getting a foot to it, but it's with uh, Jan Mateus now. And Agaki. Chance maybe for one last attack in this first half for Nagoya Grampus. Here's Mateus. Skips away from the challenge of Watanabe. And Marishita in space. He fires one in. It's tipped over by Ichimori. Grampus showing there, still a threat. With that ball across, Marisha to... Juncker was frustrated he didn't deliver the cross rather than go for goal. He did a decent save. Here's me with the corner. by Eduardo, and driven back in through the crowd by Sho in Agaki. The 
Jamie Grampus, captain, who's scored just a couple of goals this season. And they started at lightning quick tempo. Nagoya Grampus got themselves a lead through Nagai as early as the eighth minute. But Yokohama F. Marinos, the champions, the league leaders, showed their quality really. Albert equalising on 29 thanks to Ichimori's quick thinking and delivery. And then seven minutes later, some neat play on the edge of the penalty area, resulting in Joel Fujita putting Yokohama F. Marinos in front at the break. The last team to win here 15 games ago last season was Yokohama F. Marinos. And they're in front again against their fellow title contenders. Half time, Nagoya Grampus 1, Yokohama F. Marinos 2.
しまして、シアトランパスのハーフタイムダンスパフォーマンスでお楽しみください。リーダーのルナからのメッセージです。サポートソング、限って仕方ないののパフォーマンスを披露いたします。手拍子で応援いただければと思います。また、グランパスペースタイムで盛り上げていただければ嬉しいです。グランパスの勝利に向けチームにエールを送りましょう。そして、徳島からお越しいただいた皆さんにも感謝の気持ちを伝えたいと思います。とのことです。それじゃあ行こうチアグーランパース
Welcome back to the Toyota Stadium. Yokohama F. Marinos leading Nagoya Grampus by two goals to one at half time. It was a first half of two halves, really. Nagoya Grampus started the game so brightly, so determined. They overran Yokohama F. Marinos in gaining the lead on eight minutes through Nagai. And the champions showed their quality. Two goals in seven minutes from Albert and Fujita. Two goals that had been coming in truth given the way that Yokohama F. Marinos set about getting themselves back into the game. And the champions deserving their lead at the moment. Remember, started the day on 42 points, two ahead of Vissel Kobe, who won yesterday on the same games. But this win will take Yokohama F. Marinos five points clear, having played a game more. And perhaps significantly for Nagoya Grampus, seven points clear of them would be in danger of slipping out of the top three if uh, Arau Reds were to pick up a positive result. Remember the top three qualifying for Asian club competition. Nishimura has been replaced by Unaka for the second half. Nishimura was uh, struggling with a, a bit of an injury. The Yokohama F. Marinos midfielder. So Unaka wants to replace him. Just his third appearance of the season since joining from uh, lower division Varen <laughs> Nagasaki. <laughs> the worrying thing for Nagoya Grampus is that he's yet to score. Anderson Lopez. So Nagoya Grampus get the second half underway, trailing Yokohama F. Marinos by two goals to one. To try and turn this around, or there will be a seven point gap between them and the top of the table. So, a real danger of slipping out of the, the top three, the Asian Champions League places. If they were to lose here, and the Royal Reds were to beat FC Tokyo. And that 
stretch that is uh, getting underway round about now. Matsubara for Jan Mateus. This all Brazilian forward line is really firing on all cylinders at the moment. Jan Mateus, Albert, and Anderson Lopez, man on the ball now. Matsubara. Touch from uh, Jan Mateus. Naka getting uh, the first touch of the ball. Difficult one to control with the head, though. It's been three years playing in uh, J2. With his former club, Vera Nagasaki. He's done well when called upon in the League Cup this season, though. Unaka scored three goals and four appearances from midfield in the group stage of that competition. Here's Marishita on to Mateus, who squares it, and Juncker makes it 2 2. What a start to the second half from Nagoya Grampus. And Kasper Juncker on hand for a tap in. And less than two minutes into the second half, the Goya Grampus have themselves back on terms. Well, it was a quick start to the game in the first half from the Goya Grampus. It's been an even quicker start to the second half. Marishita, Mateus with the run. And there's no question of Juncker being offside. He's played it through the legs of Eduardo. And Juncker has stolen a march on his marker. Getting goal side of Kamijima. An 11th goal of the season for the Danish striker. Goya Grampus 2, Yokohama F. Marinos 2. Headed on by Albert. Naka does well. It's Elbert again. Watanabe's touch to Albert. Since falling 2-1 behind, Nagoya Grampus have done precious little, really, in what remained of the first half to get themselves level. It's difficult to see where a, another goal was coming from, from the home side. They were caught napping there, Yokohama F. Marinos. It will frustrate Kevin Musket. Only cross in, too high for everybody, though. And I think it was a late challenge after the delivery. Yeah. Yellow card for Kensuke Nagai. Scorer of uh, Nagoya Grampus' first goal. Yeah, it's late on Masubara. Suspension for Kensuke Nagai. Yeah. Yeah, Mateus will deliver this. Just four in there at the moment for F. Marinos. Subaru, the, the player who was fouled, the right back is in there. Anderson Lopez, an obvious target. Quality delivery on both wings, be it either Mateus or Albert. Jan Mateus, who plays it in. Oh, Grampus managed to hook it away in the melee. Here's Fujita. So again is over Anderson Lopez. Here's Jan Mateus. Subaru, Jan Mateus, twists and turns, Fuji hooks it away, good response from F. Marinos to the equaliser though. The free 
Mark has gone against Izumi. It's on a yellow card from the first half. Just two yellow cards in the game, both of them to the boy Grampus players. Nagato over this. This time, Yokohama of Marinos, there's six in there. Tejas blocks it away. Now quickly onto it. And then a long-range effort is off target in the end from Fujita. Decent strike of the ball, but off target. Kept his eye on it, just sat up as he struck through it. Not too far away from uh, getting ahead on it, which uh, could have changed the final destination. Here's Albert. Nagato in support. The captain, Nagaki. Well, there, Uzum after treading on the ball initially. There's a throw for F. Marinos. And Lopez, Renaka, Fuji across to clear. It is surprising Renaka hasn't been given more opportunities in the league, given his form in those League Cup group matches. He did score in the 4-1 win against Shonan Balmare last week, his first league goal for the club, and his first top-flight goal of his career. to Nishimura is a loss. Yunaka, an able replacement. Eduardo. Kamejima. Eduardo again, the flick from Albert. They've got three in space here. Unaka! Went for goal himself. Possibly the wrong decision. Delightful little flick, though, from Albert to set Unaka away. Anderson Lopez, though, had made the run across Kawazora. Square ball to him, possibly the right option, although from that angle it was there to be hit, but he's scuffed it, Unaka. on it for Mateus and Agaki Uchida Tempo of this game is unabating it's a fabulous watch 2-2 as well Two sides who are top of the table just go at each other. That's exactly what's happened here at the Toyota Stadium. Two clubs formed out of uh, two former motor companies. Nagoya Grampus began life as the uh, Toyota Motor Sports Club. Yokohama F Marinos, Nissan FC. Mateus. 
Marashita. And Nagaki. Nakatani in space. Switch the play out again. The little header on towards Marishita has Mateus in the centre, and he's overhit the delivery for both Mateus and Kasper Juncker. You see, the Dane was none too happy. It's a good play again, though, from Nagoya Grampus. And that guy's little flick header releasing Marishita. Jan Mateus. Yeah, he is end to end at the moment. Kahama F. Marinos attacking their horde of travelling supporters now. Well read by Inagaki getting a foot in, but it's back with Fujita. Masubara. Jan Mateus. So here's Albert. Watanabe wants the return from Nagato. Goes in field instead, though, to Unaka. Albert. Away from Mateus. It's a storming run by Albert, the Brazilian, who lost his footing. There was certainly no question of a foul. But he and Jan Mateus, when they run with the ball, Terrific to watch. There's no ends of problems defensively for the opposition. Marishita could ultimately be Yokohama F. Marinos's quality in the final third that proves the difference in this title race. Nagaki. Uchida. Mateus! Oh, it's a great effort. Certainly worth a try. Closed him down, almost invited him to shoot. Just off target with that left foot. Not too far off target either. Chimery. Too much on that for Albert. who completed the domestic set of trophies by winning the League Cup for the first time in 2021. There's Mateus. Just trying to clip it in for Mauricio Ter, but well defended. The League Cup win was their first trophy since the uh, Dragan Stojkovic era. And they uh, won the J-League in 2010 and finished runners-up a season later. Did enjoy a successful campaign under Arsene Wenger, finishing second and winning the Emperor's Cup back in 1995 when Dragan Stojkovic was a player in the team then with uh, former England striker Gary Lineker. Stojkovic going on to uh, eclipse that season himself by leading the Goya Grampus to their first and so far only league title now 13 years ago. Watanabe. Anderson Lopez. Jean Mateus. Subra ran on the outside to give him the overlap option, didn't take it though, the Brazilian. Matsubara. Matsubara again to Kamejima. Fujita. Anderson Lopez back to Fujita again. 
He's picked out Albert in space. Wriggles away from a, a couple of challenges, but Nagoya Grampus with uh, enough bodies back there. Here's Kamijima. did well to get there but Eduardo across to make the block and then well oh, that's a late one from Juncker and that's going to be a third yellow card for the Goy Grampus player frustrated at having lost the uh, previous tackle and Goodness me, you can't have too many complaints about that. Nagato did well to uh, jump up and out of the way, otherwise that could have been quite a nasty one. A real swipe from Kasper Juncker. Kamijima. Two sides met in Yokohama back in April in their first meeting this season. Level again approaching the uh, midway point of the second half. This is Albert. Naka and uh, Anderson Lopez both centrally. Zunaka. His stunning position is much more advanced than the uh, Shimura, the player he replaced. Nagato. The Shimura was playing at the point of the midfield, but Unaka, when they're on the attack, pretty much is up alongside Anderson Lopez as a, a second striker. Here's Mateus. Did well. Marishita, can he get that? Just got there ahead of Matsubara. Now Nagai made a bit of space for himself and squares it into the centre, and Nagato gets it away. What a chance for Nagoya Grampus. Good football again. And it's down this left-hand side where they are creating problems for Yokohama F. Marinos. Marishita wins the throw. McCatany. Done well, second half, Nagoya Grampus. It did seem as though the game was getting away from them in that first half when Yokohama F. Marinos were dominating, got themselves in front. Much more even contest now, Marishita. Nagoya Grampus looking the more likely at the moment. Mateus. To Matsubara. Clarence picked out Anderson Lopez. He's got a couple of goals against Shonan Belmare last week. Anderson Lopez in the 4 1 win. He scored eight goals in his last five games. And he scored two goals in four of his last five games. It's an astonishing run he's been on. Sign of another double today, though. Do you see that? Nagoya Grampus chance again. Got himself ahead of the ball, didn't he? He knows what a chance it was to put Nagoya Grampus back in front. Here's Kawazara.
Uchida. It's in concentration. Jan Mateus. Clip the ball in towards Anderson Lopez to tell whether he was going for goal or trying to pick out his teammate. Given the way he's shaped, I think it was an attempt to bend it in at the far post. He's done a great job, Kevin Muscat, since taking over. Costa Coglu, wherever he goes, he took over from his uh, fellow Australian at Melbourne Victory before the same thing happened at Yokohama F. Marinos. He's played it behind and all the way through to Ichimori. Not sure Celtic or Tottenham are come calling just yet though for Kevin Muscat. Play a large part of his career in England and Scotland. Juncker. Nagai trying to return the ball to Mateus who got there ahead of Ichimori. Nagaki is in there as well and he wins the corner. Suggesting it should have been more. A danger from set pieces, strong aerial ability. It's not quite as prolific at a row red, 16 goals and 42 appearances in a couple of years there with the Asian champions who do still own him. And he certainly settled in well. Nagoya Grampus. Nagaki fired it straight into the crowd of players. It was a well-worked corner. Pinpoint delivery from Mateus to the uh, Nagoya Grampus captain. Didn't get hold of it as much as he would have liked, though. It would have been spectacular had it come off, but in the end just fired it into his teammate Kawazara. Lopez challenging for this one, but Nakatani was more determined. Matsubara. By Fujita. And Mateus. There's a neat little dummy from uh, Anderson Lopez. Goes through to Lunaka, who wins the free kick. Muscat preparing another change. Nagato. Albert. Better away by Nakatani. Only as far as Fujita. Hefty collision. Between uh, Nagai and Albert. Free happy just to call it that though, a collision. Oh no, he's not. He's called it back for the free kick for Nagoya Grampus. So initially, he waved play on. Kawazara. Marishita. It's a foul on Mateus.
Miachi. He's about to come on uh, with five caps for Japan, the 30 year olds. It's uh, Albert who is being replaced. Uh, fifth appearance of this season, all of them from the substitutes bench. Barry made one appearance for Arsenal in the English Premier League. Four appearances uh, for Wigan and 12 for Bolton also in England. Nagai. Well defended by Eduardo, it's a corner. the business end of the game now, 18 minutes. The uh, regulation 90 to go, 2-2. Two -two. Oklahoma F. Marinos haven't posed the same threat, second half, in swinging corner, Echimori gets it away. And Agaki, Morishita. The momentum of this game has uh, swung backwards and forwards. Here's Mateus. Fancies it, Ichimori punches it away and then the resulting header wide from Fuji. It was on the stretch a bit as it came back to him. It's a real threat from distance though, Mateus with his shooting. It was on target. Fuji unable to guide the uh, resultant rebound back on target. shape to the shot. Does take a chance though with some of his goalkeeping in Chimari. Come uh, F Marinos. Actually the substitute. Gets the cross in towards Anderson Lopez. And Matsubara fires it well off target. He's just come on. Spent most of his time in Europe playing for Zampaoli in Germany. Six years there, scored eight goals in 77 appearances. Lone spells in the Eredivisie, though, with FC Twente and Feyenoord. Turn to Japan in 2021 with Yokohama F. Marinos. Played 15 times in their title win last season. Akatani. Kawazara. Here's Mateus. Are ahead of him, support from Juncker squares it instead. But here's Nagai punched away by Chimari ahead of uh, Inagaki. It's the uh, Nagoya Grampus captain who has given away the free kick for the challenge on the goalkeeper. to Chimari, which the uh, fans were quick to point out. Lazarus header away, here's Anderson Lopez. Oh, good ball on again, they're in behind with Unaka. Good goalkeeping from Langerak. Good movement from Asahi Unaka.
just two of their last 18 in all competitions, Yokohama F Marinos. It's Miyachi. This game could go either way, though, into the last quarter of an hour. in the league was 2-1 at Albirex Nagata. Three of their league defeats have come on the road this season. Yokohama F Marinos, it is away from home where they are. Fallible. Kamijima. Now Eduardo. for Miyashi. Nagato to Watanabe. Kamejima. Fujita. Lovely little ball in to Yamateus. Can he pick somebody out here? Hesitated for too long and Kawazura was there to get the block in. He's winded himself in the process. It's a neat piece of play from uh, Yokohama F. Marinos, and yeah, that's why. Full bout into the stomach of Kawazara. So a double change for F. Marinos. Mizunuma and uh, Yamane coming on. Mateus, Fujita making way. Change for Nagoya Grampus as well. And, uh, Juncker, who scored the equaliser, their top scorer, and is being replaced by uh, Yoga Kida. Placed by Nuriyoshi Sakai, so the forward line being completely changed by Nagoya Grampus. Yokohama corner right the way across. Anderson Lopez not too far away from getting a significant touch. Good delivery in. Flick on inadvertently was off the head of show in Agaki, the uh, captain of Nagoya Grampus. Marishita. Mateus touches it back to Marishita. Subaru did well, though, to read it. And that was a foul by Uchida. Space to work with now here for Watanabe. Miyashi opened up the space and went for goal, but too high. Three goals last season, just the one so far in this campaign. Coming in the 4-3 uh, win against Kashiwa Race Up. Did score in the 6-1 uh, route of Sagan Tozu in the League Cup group stage. We'd be disappointed not to have hit the target there, and at least worked. Mitchell Langerak in the Goy Grandpa's goal. Mateus is after this one. Nagato away, picked up though by Izumi. That big chance, remember, for the Goy Grandpa's to put them 3 2 in front, but just got ahead of the ball. His Sakai can't keep it in.
Just under 30,000, the attendance. 45, the uh, maximum capacity of this stadium. The Gore Grampus also use the uh, Mizuho Stadium, which is the uh, smaller venue. There's just uh, 27,000 capacity. There's Anderson Lopez, touch on by Mateus. This has fallen kindly here for Kida. We couldn't get the shot away. And two appeals for a foul from the stands, the referee unmoved. Uchida. Izumi. Kawazara. Marishita with the uh, touch in to Mateus. Here's Marishita again. Going on the outside, and Chimari did well. Should have played it infield earlier, though. Sakai and Kida were both in the penalty area. Did well there, Marishita initially. And this is when it needed to be squared, but decided to take on Kamijima. He's always going to be up against it. In favour of Vichimari. Well, look at that behind the goal from the Nagoya Grampus supporters. As Mateus plays it in. Inagaki over the top. Desperate to see their side pick up a first win in what will be four against Yokohama F. Marinos. Eduardo being replaced at the back as uh, F. Marinos make their final change. Shinosuke Hatanaka coming on. Twenty-seven year old who is a Japanese international. Next goal wins yet, but it's getting towards that stage. Kawazara. Put away by Langerak. Katanik. Kawazara. Substitute, Hatanaka. Miyashi. It's looked lively, actually, since coming on and has to be to fill the boots of Albert. Hatanaka. By Nagato. Miyashi. Grampus. Nagaki, the player fouled. They won the last two away games, Yokohama F. Marinos at FC Tokyo and Sanfrecce Hiroshima. Marishita, good ball over the top. Sakai could be in here. Has Kida up in support. It's played behind Kida. Mateus! 3-2, Nagoya Grampus. But the flag is up. Well, this is going to have to be checked. But Mateus, the player who scored in both games in the 2020 season against Yokohama F. Marinos. But hasn't scored in the subsequent two seasons against them. Could well have put Nagoya Grampus in front here. It's whether Sakai was offside when he initially received the ball. Mateus certainly wasn't. And it is currently being checked by the VAR. With less than five minutes to go. 
plus stoppage time. What a key decision this could be in the title race. Fourteen games to go after today. Kaminja is over the ball, waiting to take the free kick for offside, but we still haven't got the definitive decision yet. We only had the benefit of one replay, and it was pretty tough to call. Good run by Sakai. And still, Mateus waits to hear if he has his fifth goal of the season and a potential winner here against the league leaders. And it is offside. Big, big moment then. Mateus's goal ruled out for Sakai being offside when he initially made the run. And it remains Nagoya Grampus 2, Yokohama F Marinos 2. Sakai trying to steal a march on Hatanaka. He's not scored in the league this season, Nuriyoshi Sakai. He's only made two starts, but has featured in 16 games. This is 17th now. Uneka. Nagato. Uneka again. Fight for possession. Miyachi has it. Nagato, Atanaka, Yamane, break on here for Sakai, Marishita in support, Kidder is in the centre, he's almost on the end of it, lovely play by Sakai, and Kidder just couldn't get there, Yokohama F Marinos have just not been able to re-establish that authority they had in terms of dominance of the game in the last part of the, the first half, the last half an hour really of the first half came from one down to lead 2-1 and it was though the natural process would be for them to go on and win the game but it's been much more even second half Katani to Inagaki Stands Nagoya Grandpa setting for a 16th home game in all competitions without defeat since losing 4 0 here to Yokohama F. Marinos last season. Look how tight that is. It's the shoulder of Sakai that has prevented Nagoya Grampus from leading. Starting challenge from Matsubara. He's going to become the first F Marinos player into the book, I think, here. Indeed, it is a yellow card. You can see why they want to tinker with the offside rule. I mean, it, it does seem extremely harsh that it's ruled out for his shoulder being a matter of millimetres ahead of the defender. There's no real advantage gained. goals get taken away for such that fine margin it's the ankle for Marishita that's the problem six minutes to be added on then six minutes to find a winner so some trouble here Marishita, he's had a good game on the left for Nogoi Grampus. He will never repeat that 2014 season. <laughs> Kenta has their go up. He can uh, bring glory to Nogoi Grampus, he will be 
applauded in these parts. It's a club who have underachieved over the years, really. Kamijima has a problem. They've used all five substitutes. F. Marinos. Feet again, though, Kamijima. Just his fifth start in the uh, centre of the Yokohama F. Marinos defence this season. Joined the club from uh, Kashua Raisol at the start of the campaign. Looks as though he's beginning to make that place alongside Eduardo his own. Zunema. Izumi trying to find Mateus, but cut out again by Kamijima. Back to Mateus, though, under pressure from Hatanaka. He's done well, Mateus. So important to Nagoya Grampus, and this is why. Just trying to swing that cross in towards Kida. You can see what he was trying to aim for, but just couldn't get enough bend on the ball. In keeping with the rest of the game, Yokohama F. Marinos pick up the ball and come forward. It's what both teams have done. It's been a great watch and a fabulous advert for J League football. Matsubara. Now Watanabe. Nagato. Miyachi. Clips the cross in. Katani with the header away. To throw for Yokohama F. Marinos. Neither team settling for the draw here. This will certainly be a tough trip, ticked off the list for the defending champions. Nagato. Miyachi. Fuji stepping in. Tanabe. Nagato looking for the run of uh, Miyachi. Kawazara. moment of magic in the next couple of minutes. Nagoya Grampus thought they'd won it with Mateus's goal, but eagle-eyed video assistant catching Sakai a matter of millimetres offside. Jim Reitz, a risky ball out of defence, and Uchita bounced. Here's Mateus. It's a corner for Nagoya Grampus. If they do grab the winner from this corner, this will be all of Yokohama F. Marinos' own doing. Just over a minute to go. Mateus with the corner. Five in there in red shirts. Whips the corner in and it's... Just over the crossbar. I think he was going for goal there, Mateus. Pretty ambitious direct from a corner, but there was so much whip on the ball. He clearly had that in mind. Atanaka. Morishita. by Matsubara. Miyashi. Yamane to Nagato. Yama. 
Mane. It's going to be a free kick. It'll certainly be a better point for F. Marinos than it would be for Nagoya Grampus. Gap between the two would remain at four points. Yokohama F. Marinos go three points clear at the top of the table. But with a very difficult away day ticked off the list now. It finishes 2-2. Mateus thought he'd won the game for Nagoya Grampus, but Sakai was just offside in the uh, initial build-up. But a fabulous, entertaining contest between the sides who started the day in first and third in the table. Nagoya Grampus may well drop out of the top three, depending on what happens with uh, Arau Reds, but very much remain in the J-League title race. No goal for him today. Anderson, Lopez, Nagai and Junker scoring the two for Nagoya Grampus. Albert and Fujita with first-half goals, giving Yokohama F. Marinos a lead at half-time. But in truth, the uh, second half, they failed to stamp their mark on it. They weren't as in charge as they were in the opening 45 minutes. And in the end, a pretty fair scoreline of Nagoya Grampus 2, Yokohama F. Marinos 2. So the second time then that these two sides have drawn this season. 1-1 in Yokohama back in uh, April. 2-2 on this occasion, but Nagoya Grampus showing that I think they're here to stay in this title race. A club who have only been champions once before and will very much be in the conversation at the end of the season with regard to the top three and the uh, AFC Champions League places. Remember, the top two go straight into the group stage, third go into the playoff round, and the fourth place goes to the winners of the major domestic cup competition, the Emperor's Cup. A competition in which both teams will be in third round action in midweek before returning to league action next weekend. We're hoping to get a a bit of pitch side reaction very shortly. Kasper Juncker scored his 11th goal of the season. Just uh, four behind now. Anderson Lopez, who is the uh, leading goal scorer with 15. He failed to register today, though. It's only the, uh, the second time in six matches he's been in that superb scoring form. Goy Grampus, a tough nut to crack defensively, conceding two goals, though, for the first time since the previous round of the Emperor's Cup. And they won 3-2 here against Vietien Mie, a lower division side. He was instrumental today, Mateus. Fabulous performance from him. And uh, Kasper Juncker's goals. I have so much to uh, thank the Brazilian for. He is so lively. And he was so nearly... The match winner, millimetres, separating Nogoy Grampus from a first win in four. The overall head-to-head -head remains level between these sides then. 14 wins each and 15 draws now. え、今日は取って、取られて、取られて、そして取ってのゲームでしたが、いかがでしたか。そうですね、ま、ホームで勝ちたかったんで、ま、悔しいですけど、ま、逆転されたそう